Carefully read each problem before writing your answer. The total length of four sides on a regular hexagon is 5.2 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the hexagon? A regular hexagon has six equal sides with six equal angles. We know the total length of four of the sides is equal to 5.2 centimeters. If you want the perimeter, you need to figure out what is the sum of the measurements of all the sides here. So the perimeter is six times the length of one side. But I don't know what that is. How can we find it? Well, if four sides is 5.2 centimeters, just divide this by four, and that's going to give you 1.3 centimeters. Ah, so the perimeter is going to be six times this result, and you're going to get 7.8 centimeters. A sphere has a diameter of 3.5 meters. What is its volume to the nearest cubic meter? Use pi equals 3.14. The first step to answer this question is to know what is the volume formula for a sphere. Well, it's right here. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So it's going to be 4 thirds times the value of pi, which they told us to use 3.14. So let's put that in here. Times the cube of the radius of the sphere. Well, I don't know that. I know the diameter is 3.5 meters. So let's write that down. The diameter formula is going to be two times the radius, which means the radius is the, the diameter divided by two. So in this case, it's going to be 3.5 divided by two, you're gonna get 1.75 meters for the radius. Let's put that in there, 1.75. Now if you very carefully compute this, you're going to get an answer of 22.4379 and some more digits. The units are going to be cubic meters. Now they want this to the nearest cubic meter. So we're going to have to round to 22 cubic meters. And that's going to be our answer. Here are some reminders for when you are completing this extended constructive response task. Carefully read each part of the task before writing your response. Be sure to complete all parts of the task. Clearly explain your answer and show all your work. Use the grid to complete the following. Plot the following points. A, 0, 0, B, 4, 0, C, 3, 4. Draw triangle ABC. Find the area of triangle ABC. Draw the image of triangle ABC if it was translated to the right five units and up two units. Name the image triangle DEF. Compare the areas of the two triangles. Support your answer. Draw a rectangle named GHIJ in the open area of the grid such that the area of the rectangle is equal 
to the sum of the areas of the triangles. Explain your reasoning. The first part of our task is to plot the points A, B, and C. And here they are. A is on the origin, it's just 0, 0. B is 4, 0. C is 3, 4. You're going to go 3 to the right, 4 up. Second part is to draw a triangle ABC. Very easy, just connect the dots. You're just going to do something like this. A to B, and then to C, and then C back to A. Next, they want us to find the area of triangle ABC. Very easy to do if you know the area formula for a triangle. It's just A equals 1 half base times height. In this case, the base here is 4 units. So just write down 4. The height of the triangle, I go from the high point, and go straight down. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 units. And 1 half 4 times 4 is Eight. That's going to be the area of this triangle. The next thing they wanted us to do is to draw the image of triangle ABC that has been shifted five units to the right and then two units upward. There it is. And we want to name it triangle DEF. Next, they wanted us to compare the area of the two triangles. We know this one is 8. This one you can get by just going areas 1 half base times height. Base here is 4, height is 4. The answer is also 8. Another way to support the answer that the areas are equal is that one triangle is a translation of the other. When you do a translation, figures do not distort in any way. They remain the same, just in a different location. The final part of our task is to create a rectangle in the blank area of the grid. We want to label it G, H, I, J, and its area needs to be equal to the sum of the area of the other two triangles. We know this is 8, this is 8. Therefore, this has to be 16. The area formula for a rectangle is base times height or length times width. There's several different ways of getting 16. You can multiply 8 times 2, 4 times 4, and so on. Here I use 8 times 2. The base is 8, the height is 2. Gives us an area of 16.